Hello and welcome to today's episode of the International Daily Roundup by People's Dispatch, where we bring you some of the top stories from around the world. Let's take a look at today's headlines. At least 68 killed in prison massacre in Ecuador. Report finds cover-up of 2019 U.S. airstrike on Syria. Thousands march against rising hunger in Brazil. In our first story, at least 68 people have been killed in deadly prison violence in Ecuador's littoral penitentiary. Officials stated that fighting broke out between rival gangs on night between November 12th and 13th. Prisoners in the facility's three pavilions were reportedly armed with guns, explosives and machetes. The violence was the fourth such deadly prison riot in Ecuador this year. At least 118 prisoners were killed in September in what was called the worst prison massacre in Ecuador's history. The government imposed a 60-day state of emergency in September 2021. Rights groups have repeatedly condemned state inaction in preventing prison violence, which has killed 324 people in 2021. According to the Alliance Against Ecuadorian Prisons, Seven hours passed between the first calls for help from the literal prison and the government's response. Among those killed in the violence was environmental and rights activist Victor Guayas. He was detained during the protest in October 2019. His petition of habeas corpus was rejected and he had an appeal hearing in January 2022. Helen, a trans woman who should have been placed in a woman's ward, was also killed in the violence. The Alliance Against Prisons argued that the condition in prisons cannot be reduced to organized crime or rivalry between gangs. It argues that what is happening is a necropolitical form of governance to exterminate the poor and marginalized. According to the Regional Human Rights Advisory Foundation, Ecuador's prison population went from 20,800 people in 2012 to almost 39,000 people in 2021. This increase has taken place alongside a decline in the care and the rights of the incarcerated people. At least 15,000 people in Ecuadorian prisons are still awaiting sentencing. As per local reports, most of those killed last week had not been sentenced. In our next story, the United States hid airstrikes on Syria, which killed an estimated 80 people in 2019. On March 18th of that year, U.S. jets dropped two bombs weighing 500 and 2,000 pounds each on Baghuz. People fleeing the violence between the Syrian Defense Forces and ISIS had gathered at the banks of the Euphrates River. Initial assessments after the strike placed the death toll at 70. A New York Times report has found that the strike was called in by a classified U.S. Special Operations Unit called Task Force 9. The U.S. Air Force Command in Qatar was not informed about the bombing at the time. The strike was flagged by a legal officer as a possible war crime requiring an investigation. However, the military took steps to covering up the strike, including in an inquiry by the Defense Department's Independent Inspector General. Task Force 9 has repeatedly evaded the military's own supposed rules to protect civilians. By 2018, it claimed that 80% of its attacks were self-defense. The Baghuz bombing was one of the largest civilian casualty events in the war against the Islamic State. Almost 1,000 airstrikes hit Iraq and Syria in 2019 using over 4,700 bombs and missiles. The military officially acknowledged only 22 civilian deaths that year and the March 18 strikes were excluded entirely. The U.S. Central Command acknowledged and then justified the Baghuz bombing last week. It stated that 16 fighters and 4 civilians were killed. The official statement said that it could not confirm if the other 60 people killed were civilians. Next, we go to Brazil, where people took to the streets for the march against hunger on November the 13th. An estimated 117 million people in Brazil were experiencing some level of food insecurity. The number of people facing hunger has increased from 10 to 19.1 million within two years. At the same time, the prices of food have soared with a 30% increase recorded in 2021. Meanwhile, over 20 million people have been pushed into poverty 
and 66,000 became homeless. Economist Walter Bellick has estimated that around 60 million Brazilians relied on solidarity initiatives for food during the pandemic. Saturday's protests were organized by the Homeless Workers Movement, or the MST, and the People Without Fear Front. As reported by Brazil de Fato, people gathered in cities including Aracaju, Sao Paulo, Rio de Janeiro, and Porto Alegre. Amid rising hunger, far-right President Jair Bolsonaro has ended the landmark Bolsa Familia program. Created under former President Lula da Silva, the aid program reached around 14 million families. Instead, Bolsonaro has replaced it with Auxilio Brasil. He has claimed that the program will double the monthly stipends and extend to 17 million families. However, what has not been mentioned is that 22 million people who currently received emergency pandemic will be excluded from Auxilio Brasil. Other major uncertainties remain ahead of the program's rollout on November 17th. Thank you.